click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this particular video session, we will start the new topic altogether that is called as open loop configuration of operational amplifier, nothing but comparator. Now the word comparator tells you that I want to do comparison between two input signal and I want to give that comparative analysis to the output node in such a way that I will get to know that which one is greater and which one is lesser. We will see the circuit point of view the comparator circuit with operational amplifier. This comparator circuit with operational amplifier is configured with open loop configuration. So we will write understand that what is open loop configuration. You must have studied the EIC subject or control system subject in which you must have heard about the word called as open loop configuration and closed loop configuration. For example, if I am balancing a stick, if I am balancing a stick and I am not looking at the stick, then it may happen that I lose my control on that stick, right? And this is how I'm dealing with closed loop configuration. And this is how I'm looking at open loop configuration. There is no loop, right? There is no loop formation. Still, I'm controlling by just looking at that particular stick such that the message is passing to my brain and brain is passing the message to my peripheral that is hand that you have to move this side right side left side up and down in such a way that i have to balance my stick whereas in closed loop configuration there are some circuitry for example your air conditioner in your air conditioner there are some control system in which there is some closed loop connection temperature is sensed by the transducer and according to the temperature your air is get transferred from inside to outside outside to inside and that is nothing but the example of closed loop configuration there is feedback system present but to balance my stick there is no feedback system rather i'm just looking from the eyes towards the stick such that i can balance my stick. but still this is a loop so even if this is open it's a loop so coming back to the R point that is comparator, comparator is called as open loop configuration where I'm not giving any kind of feedback, just I'm giving two input signal to inverting and non-inverting terminal of operational amplifier and where I will get the comparison. And according to the comparative analysis of two input signal, we will be getting the saturated output either at positive side or at negative side. For that, we have to learn a simple concept what happens at saturation. Let us suppose that this is the positive supply voltage I am giving that is nothing but plus VCC. Let us assume that this is nothing but 14 volts I am giving and here it is minus VEE which is having value minus of 14 volts. Now the funda is such a way that this is V1 and this is V2. Comparator is saying that I am not giving any feedback but still I am getting the output which is at the saturation level, which is at the saturation level. If you look at this particular circuit then you will get to know that according to closed loop configuration what will be my gain? What will be my gain? If I will draw a dotted line over here and I will consider that this is your open loop this is your open loop now this open circuit indicates that infinite resistance so if I try to configure this differential amplifier for example differential amplifier is saying that your value of gain is equal to VO divided by v2 minus v1 that is vd differential input v2 minus v1 is equal to minus rf upon 
R1. This R1 is equal to 0. There is nothing is there. Now there is short circuit at the input. Nothing is given. R1 is not placed. R1 is not placed. That means there is a short circuit. That means R1 is equal to 0 value. So if R1 is equal to 0, if R1 is equal to 0, RF is equal to infinite. That means open circuit and we will be getting this gain is equal to infinite but do we get infinite voltage at the output is it possible it is not possible to get infinite output at output node practically impossible right and that is why we are saying that this a is equal to infinity tells you that infinity is not possible so v o is equal to plus or minus v saturation voltage up to certain value it will be restricted so if i am giving you 14 volt and minus 14 volt the value of output voltage vo will not go beyond that particular value so this value is equal to plus or minus vsat now when plus and when minus that we'll have to study in your comparator analysis now we'll look at the actual circuit of comparator Let's suppose I have resistance R. Okay. I have this resistance ROM as well. And I am placing this as V2, this as V1, and this is VO. Obviously, we have to give the DC value, let's say plus VCC and minus VEE, without which this circuit will not work. And now we will analyze that what will happen if V1 is dominating and what will happen if V2 is dominating. We will take case number A. In case number A, we will say that V1 is greater than V2. V1 is greater than V2. If V1 is greater than V2, can I say that V2 minus V1 will be negative if v2 minus v1 is negative then what will be the value of gain gain will be negative infinite but infinite is not possible it will restrict it towards the saturation level but it is restricted towards the negative saturation level now i will say that the value of vo will become not infinity rather than that we will be getting minus v sat and this is nothing but the first case that I am looking for. We'll say case number 2. V2 is now greater than V1. Non-inverting terminal is greater than inverting terminal ka voltage. V2 is non-inverting terminal ka voltage. Now I can say that this V2 minus V1, obviously it is positive. Now you can easily determine what will be the value of VO. I can easily skip these all steps and I can go to last step that is VO is equal to plus Vsat. It's not minus, it's plus Vsat. Now I will represent this graphically. Here I haven't given any specific voltage V1 and V2. I will just play with the reference v1 minus v2 this is nothing but v2 minus v1 right and here we will take time simple if we have the input signal in such a way that this V2 minus V1 ka variation is a sinusoidal. Just take an example. V2 minus V1 ka variation is sinusoidal. 
when v2 is equal to v1 then whatever value i will be getting that will be either plus set or minus set as soon as this v2 is increasing dominating over v1 then if v2 is dominating over v1 then case number b will be implemented and vo must have the plus v sat value we will draw this vo with green waveform until the value of v2 is greater than v1 we will be getting the value of vo is plus v sat and we'll get the abrupt change here and again at this second half cycle we are getting v1 is dominating than v2 because this is negative that means your vo has to be minus v sat and this is how we will be getting the abrupt change this is the ideal value of the output voltage as far as comparator concept is concerned so this is nothing but your output voltage which is changing with respect to the difference between input voltage now we will look what if i am giving some sinusoidal signal at one of the terminal and another terminal i will keep it as a reference value or ground dc value so depending on that reference value the variation i will be getting if it is positive then plus v sat if it is negative then minus v sat right we will look with an example with ac input signal and reference value v1 is equal to a sin of omega t and v2 is equal to 0 volts let's say that is 0 volt now the circuit which i have to draw is nothing but say this is r1 having value a sin of omega t and this is connected to ground plus minus here we will be getting value v o we will again slice this operation into two part one is case number a where v1 is greater than v2 and another is v2 is greater than v1 we will draw here the waveform side by side and then we will get the variation i know that what is the value of voltage v2 v2 is equal to 0 so we will write this as draw this as v2 is equal to 0 this is nothing but v2 what is v1 v1 is sinusoidal signal with maximum value plus a and minimum value minus a if sin omega t is equal to minus 90 degree then we will be getting minus a so we will draw this variation like this this is nothing but your v1 now we will just compare the value of v1 and v2 and we will try to plot it over here the value of vo with respect to time here this is nothing but v1 comma v2 okay let's play with case number 1 where v1 is equal to a sin omega t which is greater than 0 right that means this particular portion which is showing that this v1 is greater than 0 that means greater than v2 if it is greater than v2 then can i comment that v2 minus v1 is negative is negative if it is negative then i will be getting vo is equal to minus v sat a very simple phenomena that if non inverting terminal is dominating then plus v sat if inverting terminal is dominating then minus v sat case number 2 i will be getting case number 2 that is b if v1 is equal to a sin omega t and depending on the frequency in time we will be getting the value of this is 
less than v2 i'm not talking about magnitude i'm talking about the real value which is going towards the negative so we will say that this v1 rather v2 minus v1 is greater than 0 obviously you will be getting vo is equal to plus v sat and this two value i will plot over here considering this is a where v1 is greater than v2 and this is b where v2 is greater than v1 answer we will be getting it as at this particular point there is the change in the output voltage this is nothing but plus v sat and this is nothing but minus v sat this is how we have to learn the comparator this special circuit is called as zero detector where we have to use this zero detector for example in your cro i don't know at what particular level of ground is actually zero volts so we will give zero volts and that particular value that particular line is coming at one particular dc value then we'll change that particular knob and then we actually doing this zero crossing detector over there there we are getting that at exactly which value we are getting plus v sat and minus v sat at if it is zero then it's correct value of the dc ground I hope you enjoyed this video of comparator that is open loop configuration of operational amplifier. There are so many applications of comparator itself. In the next upcoming videos, we will learn the another comparator ka application that is called as Schmidt trigger. So stay tuned for that video and learn more and more EDC along with me, along with Ikeda videos. For that, subscribe the channel Ikeda. Thank you.